June 9th, 1984. It's a day I'll never forget. It was a Saturday, as I recall, and a 22-year-old Mike Rowe was working for United Artists at Golden Ring Mall as an usher. That's the day that Mike Rowe started talking in the third person. It's also the day that he walked into a theater to see a brand new movie that had premiered just the day before called Ghostbusters. And when Mike Rowe saw Bill Murray get slimed by that ghost, he laughed and laughed and laughed. And ever since that day, 38 years ago, Mike Rowe has dreamed about getting slimed. It is annoying to talk about yourself in the third person. I apologize for that, but I'm super excited because I'm here at a glue factory to meet a guy who knows more about slime than anybody else in the whole wide world, to check a box that's been wide open in my personal curriculum vitae for nearly four decades. In other words, I'm getting slimed. Blair Adhesives is a glue factory located outside of Hollywood in Santa Fe Springs, California. It doesn't look like much, but don't be fooled. This is Tinseltown's go-to shop for all things slime related. In fact, Blair is responsible for the slimiest special effects of the last 40 years. And Scott Hager is the man behind the slime. So were you the guy responsible for the slime that actually coated Bill Murray like a glazed donut? Yes. Blair produces 5,000 gallons of industrial glue every day. But I'm here for the sexier side of things, the movie special effects namely the slime. Jurassic Park yeah. has got a good one where they spit things out. Oh, that's a good one, that um, big loogie, yeah. Men in Black, where they do all the, the monstrous slime. That was you Will too? Will Smith, yes. Most, most of those movies are our products. You push it in? You push it in, it's pretty tight. Honestly, I just came here to get slimed. That's all. Well, Scott has other plans for me. Oh, look like fun? That does not look like fun. <laughs> so what am I looking at? A400. It's our base glue. Well, how do you get it out of there? We have to shovel it out. Well, that's awful. If the slime is for you, you must first clean the glue. The job that no one else wanted to do, but we've been waiting for you to show up. I'm going to squeeze my ample frame through that woefully inadequate aperture. Zach wants to go in first, so you don't mind if we watch, do you? You can do it, man. I've seen you get in the weirder spots. Well, I didn't think you were going that way, though. A walkie, Scott. All right. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. There you go. Piece of cake. <sighs> well, that happened. <laughs> After 350 dirty jobs, I was pretty sure there was no new dirt left to discover. All right. We're in a large container where they make glue. I was wrong. You know, I mean, I told them. I don't know how we're going to find any new dirt, but damn. They found it. Jose slips into the tank to show us how to do the dirtiest job at Blair Adhesives. Make it look easy. It's not my first rodeo. So what's the job? What we have to do is clear out anything that might be obstructing the valve. By anything, Jose is referring to a layer of skin that's formed on top of the glue. We're standing in a giant vat of skin, like a, like on gravy. Kind of. Glue is not just sticky, it's heavy. Heavier than fake concrete. Alonzo opens up the tank's drainage valve, but as you can see, it's still not flowing freely. Okay, so the job is to scoop up the skin, put it in a bucket, and dump it into a vat. I think it's simpler just to grab it. Whatever makes it easy. Did I say vat? I meant barrel. That's what happens when you sniff glue, kids. You forget your words. Just dumping out some skin. And what, what causes the skin to build up? Uh, just time. It gets solid over time. Got some more skin for you, Mike. Oh, that was a good one. Another tool, another job. This tool was designed to make scraping glue off the wall as easy as possible. Oh, I thought it was gonna be easier than that. <laughs> this tool sucks. Really? Six. Your hands get slickered and snot, and you're trying to hold onto this tool. The minute you get a good angle, then your feet start to slide. Okay, I think we've made the point. 
cleaning out a glue vat is a job that'll stick with you. I just wanted to make some slime. Scott, you bastard. The water-based glue I'm completely covered in washes right off, eventually. I want to be clean, you see, before I get slimed. Well, it's a dirty job's first. I mean, it's never happened before. I got so dirty before lunch, I actually changed my clothes. And now maybe the slime? Now you're going to get the slime. So what's the process? Obviously, you need some water. You lower the uh, mixer here. And how much of this is a secret? Scott, this is the same basic ingredients that hit Bill Murray in the face in 1984. Same basic greens, different colors, different mix. Right. To get different results. Shall I dump this in? Sir. That's the same thing we made the cement with? Yeah. This proprietary powder serves as a thickening agent as well as a binder that holds the chemical components of slime together. Next, we color. Color. That's green. the green. Dump it all or just all put it in? All right. Very nice. Let's not forget the preservative. This is the preservative? Does this have an actual yes. just secret? Secret. There's nothing toxic about any of this, right? I mean, it hits you in the face. Yeah. Hit Bill Murray in the face. He's all right. I think he's all right. You never know with that guy. Did you meet him? Oh, yeah. Fun guy? Very funny man. He had the whole crew just roaring the whole time with his jokes. Gosh, I wish I was funny. Scott, how much slime did Ghostbusters 1 use? 165 gallons. Ghostbusters 2? 13,000 gallons. <laughs> what's happening? Can I stick my hand in there now? Oh, yeah, look. Oh, it's getting thicker. Not quite gelatinous enough yet, but. You want to do the honors? I do. All right. Oh, look at that. What is this? That's PE tint. How do you know when it's done? We measure it with a viscometer. A viscometer? Yeah. Does a viscometer gauge viscosity, I suppose? It does measure viscosity. Water's about zero, and a heavy honey would be 100,000. So it's a very fine measurement in between. If honey is 100,000 and water is close to zero, what are you shooting for? 5,000 for this. Well, what do we do now? Oh, I got an idea. <laughs> Tell me. Why don't you go stand over there? If this is happening, this is a very, very big day. As I take my position and contemplate the life choices that have led up to this moment, I can't help but reflect on the irony of what's about to happen. Think about it. On Dirty Jobs, everything is real. In Hollywood, nothing is real. Why then, after years of wallowing in real dirt, real mud, real concrete, real crap, and real slime, would I agree to make fake slime and allow myself to be covered with it? Well, because making fake slime really is a dirty job. And like I said, if it's good enough for Bill Murray, well then, it's good enough for me.